Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some seriously cool engine technology. Diesel common rail with multiple injections. Sounds a bit technical, right? Don't worry, we'll make it super easy to understand. And don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for alerts on all our new videos dropping every week. Almost all diesel engines today use an injection system known as common rail. Common rail basically means common duct. It's a duct that distributes fuel to all the injectors and keeps the pressure inside the duct constant so that there are no fluctuations and the pressure at which it's injected is exactly the same at all times. And we're talking about pressures, extremely high, 2,500 times the pressure we experience in the atmosphere, 2,500 atmospheres, that's an insane amount of pressure. Imagine a small, very thin taco with a woman standing on top of it holding 50 bags of cement. That's the kind of pressure effect we're talking about. How is that pressure controlled? From the moment it reaches the fuel tank, a low pressure pump takes it, of course, with a bunch of filtering systems in between. And I want to emphasize this, fuel filters have become way more important than they used to be because the nozzles, the injectors, have extremely small openings and can't tolerate any particles. Fuel filtration today is absolutely essential. They go to a system in which the average pressure rises. And then, finally, a high pressure system, electronically controlled, which is what will deliver that pressure of 2,500 kilos per square centimeter. To that tube, that receptacle, that common rail, which maintains that pressure in the most regular way possible. So that despite the pulses provided by the different injectors, as they have those multiple injections, the pressure stays as constant as possible. Both in timing and quantity, it really depends on that pressure being constant, and only an electronically controlled mechanical pressure system can achieve that. And the days of single injections are over, like in the old engines. These days, it's multiple injections, up to eight simultaneous injections, are regulated to make that combustion more efficient, to optimize the exhaust gases, to minimize fuel consumption, and to reduce the jump that can come out of the exhaust pipe. But fundamentally, why such pressure? Why are we using 2,500 kilograms per square centimeter? The main explanation for that is that if you pass a liquid through a very small opening at high pressure, it gets atomized. And the smaller the opening, the finer that atomization will be. And the higher the pressure, the finer that atomization will be. Not all liquids can be subjected to this. Water, for example, does not tolerate it, which is why water is carried. In diesel, everything breaks down. Diesel can handle it. So, we use such high pressures so that the spray inside the cylinder generates the smallest droplet possible. We're already almost at the limit of pressure due to material strength. But those tiny droplets, they find the oxygen in that air we pumped in there under pressure. This way, we're making the most out of the fuel and burning it in the best way possible. In other words, we're saving money, reducing emissions, and cutting down on carbon particles. An almost perfect balance. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.